In this video, we're going to go through and we're going to actually set up the movement sway. So in the previous video, I kind of gave a brief overview of what it is, but we set up a, a single frame idle to really kind of show it. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually set the curve. So the curves are basically just this infinite sine graph. Now you can tweak these kind of however you wish, but likewise, there's a location and a rotation. And in my case, I only have three keyframes. So one for each axis at three different points, just to keep this curve going. And I'm actually using the same curve for both of them. So what we can do here is we can kind of use this as a base. So if we search for the, uh, actually we're gonna go to them and we're gonna duplicate them. So we're gonna copy and we're gonna create a new folder inside of our animation folder called curves. Let's rename these to the tutorial firearm and that'll be our, yeah, location sway. Like so. So we have our tutorial firearm location sway and rotation. So let's go ahead and grab our new curves. So we're going to put our location in location and rotation in rotation. So once we hit play, you can see we have some sway to it. You can see it here as we move around. So does the sway. Now it's not scaling perfectly with our movement speed. That's something we're going to want to tweak, but you can see it just to kind of get a rough idea on what it's actually doing. So from here, you can go through and actually tweak how you see fit. So for example, well, they really space that out ugly. There we go. So for example, if you wanted a little bit more of a, let's see, I don't know what this would actually be called, but you can bump it up so you can see it has a lot more forward and back. So it's just kind of going forward and back quite heavily just by altering the Y. And if we want it to go back towards us quite a bit, we can simultaneously drop it down like so. And now it goes really far forwards and quite far back. So you just kind of tweak it however you see fit and to kind of give the effect that you want. But uh, yeah, it's a very simple setup. Now the multiplayer interpolation rate and interpolation speed. So starting with the multiplier, this is kind of like uh, how extreme, like how much additional do we want to make it? So for example, if I bump this up to four, it's only going to affect the location by a lot more. So you can see it's hovering quite a bit down below, whereas before it was hovering around the irons, but it's going forward and back, left and right, up and down, quite a bit more. Now the multiply, yeah, multiplier interpolation rate is specifically for how fast do we want it to blend in when we change the multiplier. So this is a separate setting, a function you can call that will basically change the multiplier at runtime to do whatever you need. So for example, I use this for a, uh, in the example, the steady aiming. So like holding your breath, that's what this would come into play with because it can control how fast it will go from normal sway to a holding your breath kind of sway. So like, uh, going from moving around a lot to moving around very little, it just kind of how it blends to that new multiplier. So the higher the value, the faster it'll go, the lower the value, the faster it will go. Likewise, the interpolation speed is basically just to kind of help how you would say uh, if you have any spikes or anything like that inside of your curve, it can help there. But it's also to help if you go to switch out your curve for something else at runtime, it will make it to where you can um, get kind of like a smoother transition to it rather than just like a snap of your fingers where you would kind of look like a spike. So that's something you can go through and tweak. But that's what these settings do. Again, they're the same for the location, same for the rotation. And lastly, the movement sway, you can enable and disable really however you want. So if I disable it, it simply just does nothing. But yeah, that's what those settings do. And I'll see you in the next one.